Uh, so I just got back from clear cutting the entire northern forest. There's not a damn tree left there at all. I'm just kidding. Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started with our uh, initial or maybe quick coal power setup. <laughs> uh, so I just got back from clear cutting the entire northern forest. There's not a damn tree left there at all. I'm just kidding. Uh, but I did actually uh, clear, not clear cut, but I did cut a whole bunch of wood um, over in the northern forest because um, I'm out of biofuel. Uh, story of my life um, so let's load up these guys here and I have another load in the back of our tractor and then uh, yeah we're gonna get started with a uh, an initial coal setup it's not gonna be the full shebang um, but it'll be enough to get us started so that I don't have to keep doing this and and cutting down the the beautiful forest and all that kind of stuff um so, oh, yeah, okay, so we completely filled that up. That's good. And... Oh, did I get it all? Whoops. Hop off the tractor. No, there's more in here. Okay, it's going to say. All right, so add uh, the wood to there. That, that should get us a whole bunch of biomass. So even after we do get coal power going, we're still going to need, um, you know, some more more biomass for certain things uh, let's just put this extra in here for now I found a yellow slug and two blue slugs while I was out and about so let's put those in here uh, no sorry I was I was getting my inventories mixed up um, but uh, my inventory is on the right and the container is on the left and it's usually well, I don't know if I should say, should say usually but I'm used to it being the other way around while we have uh, this stuff, I, you know, I killed some critters while we were out and about. Uh, so let's make uh, some proteins out of these. I've heard that... Um, oh, no, 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 that's not what I want to do. I've heard that um, they're phasing out color cartridges. Um, and, and maybe flowers, too. I don't know if they're phasing flowers out or changing their purpose. But, um, yeah, that'll be interesting when the time comes. I want to put the sulfur over here. Whoop. I think this is my sulfur and coal bin. All right, good. So let's see, where are we at um, with the awesome sink here? We are at 20 coupons. All right, fantastic. Um, let me see. Let's actually go ahead and print those. And I have um, I have four more coupons in here. Oh, and <clears throat> hard drive too. Let's look and see what we've got here. Alternate copper rotor. Okay, so that'll use copper sheeting. Normally this uses rods, but it also will do 11 and a quarter per minute. And I think. I think that's quite a bit more than the standard recipe. We already have a bolted plate. Uh, well, we have an, a, a, an iron plate recipe that uses copper wire, so we're fine with that. Um, the screws, this isn't bad either because we can make screws directly without having to make rods first. Uh, at 50 per minute, I think screws normally are only made at 40 per minute. Is that right? I think so. So that's really not a bad one either. Um, Boy, yeah, that's kind of hard to decide. Um, I think this would probably... Well, yeah. It'd be more useful to us earlier on. But this might be more useful to us in the long run. We so Okay, so we get three rotors um, at uh, 11 and a quarter per minute. I think I'm going to go with this one. If we look at um, 
Oh, I can't. I can't do that. If we look at this... What are you doing right now? You're doing plates. Okay, let's just temporarily change this. So that produces four per minute. And this one produces... Oh, yeah, look at that. 11.25 per minute. That's way, way better. And copper sheeting's easy easy to make, too. Okay, yeah, we that, that was good. I'm glad we took that. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll mess with that later. We're all about, in this episode, um, doing uh, getting our coal power set up. Yeah, these alternate recipes just rock. Uh, we have another hard drive in here, too. Let's grab it uh, and get that one going in the ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Um, all right, so we have a total of 24 tickets. There's several things I want and need out of here. And I want to look at stuff that's going to be useful to us immediately. Um, conveyor wall mounts. Definitely want those at some point. Clean pipeline. I'm not too worried about that stuff yet. Uh, I do want... I want to get the double ramp. Yeah, I want to get these. Um, so we'll add those to the cart. The rest of these foundations I'm not too worried about right now. Uh, we want to get windows. I wonder if we would want to hold out for these. We need... Uh, oh, actually, hold on a second. I don't think we started our next uh, objective. We haven't. Okay. Let's select this as a milestone. And we have everything except for the rotors. Let's grab these frames here. You want concrete, you want wire. So yeah, we just need 150 rotors. Um, do I want to mess with that right now? That's the question. Yeah, why don't we... How are we doing on frames again? Okay, so we have we have 105 frames. Thinking about maybe switching this to our new rotor recipe. Um, if we do that, we'd have to go here. So we're we gotta switch to screw input. Whoops! Damn it! I hate it when I do that. Get that in our inventory. Okay, those are screws. And then the other thing we need is copper sheeting. What are you making? You're making more plates. Okay, let's... Oh, oh yeah, I just broke that. Right, okay, never mind. Um... Let's keep making plates, and we'll just put it into here for now. Okay, so that can keep going, and then we can either... What are you making? Oh, you're, you're doing iron. Okay, we're still using copper wire. We're not currently using cables, so what we, we could temporarily change this machine to make the plating. Or maybe not mess with that, just leave it the way it is. And the other option is we could come over here and tap into this second copper line here that we not that we're not currently running at full capacity. In fact, I think we're running it less than half. We could put a splitter there and then grab a refiner and stick the, oh, I need uh, I need some more copper wire. We just put all of the all all that I had in the thing for the upgrade. 
Let's grab a couple more stacks of that. Okay. Whoop. Okay, yeah, grab a refiner. Um, actually, I'm going to put this over here. Again, I know this is messy, but it's temporary. And I don't... I don't want to take the time to try and do it neatly because we have higher, we have bigger fish to fry. <laughs> we have higher priorities. Um, I would never do this on a permanent setup. Come on, you guys know that by now. Okay, let's sw switch this to copper sheets. And we'll run a line out of there, up into there. Uh, okay, no, we can't. We can't do that. That's that's just not acceptable. Let's do this. If we put the uh, smelter, is what it's called. I always want to call that a refiner. What if we put it here? Run that up into there like so. And then... What the hell? Try that again. Oh, it's just a little too... Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Hook that up. You make copper ingots. Uh, that line is maxed out, so what we'll do is we'll take and put... Another line just right in between here to run to there. Except for I think I just... And let's put it more over here so it's not going to be in the way of the belt. And then what we'll do is we'll run a line out of here. We'll raise it up so it's out of the way and then run it into here. Okay, that should get us everything we need. Oh, wait a second. No, yeah, that's right. Copper sheets and screws. And we'll make 11 rotors per minute. That is nice, man. That's so much better than the normal recipe. Okay, so we're just waiting for sheets to come through. Um, I forgot to hook the power back up to here. There we go. And there's one more thing we need to do. Let's run out here real quick. What I'm planning on doing when we set up our main base is I'm going to have an area that we'll use to do little, you know, temporary projects like this. And, um, yeah, so see, this is underclock, so let's just overclock that all the way. I'm not, I'm just not going to worry too much about 100% efficiency on everything at this point. Um, anyway, um, you know, once we can unlock blueprints, you know, then these kind of one-off setups that I've been doing, we could probably blueprint, and then we just have a designated area for those, um, you know, to set them up. So I'm not doing all this, this you know, spaghetti shit. Very good. Okay, so we, um, we just got the ramps. And what I... I, I kind of I had I had to set up this kind of jank ramp, you know, for the tractor because we were using the catwalk thingy and it wasn't working very well. So let's uh, let's take all of this stuff down. And we'll redo this correctly so it looks good. Going to foundations. Um Oh, did I did I not purchase those? <laughs> Shit. Okay. <coughs> Can't quite get up there. I need to... Oh, you know what else we're going to do? I need to do this anyway, so we might as well do it now since I just screwed myself over here and can't get back up into my factory. Um, 
I'm gonna make it we're gonna make an access down from here and we're gonna use the catwalks uh, yeah let's use the stairs for this one okay make sure we're in zoop mode and okay and then um, we're also gonna make another access down to here because that's where we're gonna set up our our little temporary coal business there goes our power okay let's get a two by two foundation uh, no, actually, I want this to be a one by. And you can switch that quickly by pressing E. That should work. And then we'll grab these. Okay, good. So that gives us an, a quick access down to where we're going to set up our little coal thingy. Let me uh, reload these guys, and hopefully this will be the last time we have to do this, or at least close to the last time. All right. Let's go back to the awesome shop here, go to foundations, and we want to buy the double ramp set, add that to the cart. Um, let's go to walls. Right, that's... We we're going to wait to maybe... Well, see, the thing is, is I, I want these anyways, and it gives us different types of windows. So, yeah, let's get the windows... Um, let's get back to here. Uh, we want the conveyor walls and we want the doors. And probably the gates. Okay, where, how, how much is that? That's 19, so we still have five more points to spend. Um... That's not available to us yet. We, we're going to want the road barriers eventually. Structural beam, fix it roofs. Roof corners. Yeah, we can't really. Oh, yeah, actually, I want to get this. Um, let's get the asphalt. And we'll also be getting the concrete uh, ones, too. Metal fountain. Yeah, let's get this now. And I think. That's 23 points. Let's buy it all. Okay. And we have one coupon left. We'll just keep that in here. A little bit of extra iron ore. We'll just throw that in there. Okay. So, um, we went out and we adjusted the miner out there. You're making... Uh, copper plating. You should be making rotors. Why are you not making rotors? Something's not quite working here. Well, first of all, let's let's redo this. Turn that that way. Okay, so that's sending screws into here. Screws and copper sheets. And you have power. So it's like something's not inputting into here. Uh, the copper sheets are not inputting into here. Something's screwy here. Let's reset that. Okay, they should be working now. There we go. Okay, glad I checked that. Otherwise, <laughs> we've been running all this time and nothing would have been happening. Okay, so coal power. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to set up kind of like a, a, a very small uh, coal power plant that's going to generate... See, right now we have... Uh, 270 megawatts uh, with the bio. So I'm going to set up four coal generators. Well, actually five, but four for the main power grid. 
which will give us a total of 300 megawatts and we'll make it so that it, you know it's expandable and we can expand it out as needed for you know the for our remaining time at this particular factory so the first step in getting all of that done is i need yeah I, let me <clears throat> excuse me let's take a look at this so we're going to need rotors cabling plates to make the generators so we need a total of 40 rotors to make those and then uh, for the water extractors, we're going to need 40 rotors for that. We're going to need a total of 80 rotors, and we're also going to need some more copper sheeting as well. Um, so we're going to need 40 copper sheeting. Okay. Why don't we divert this just momentarily just enough to build up the copper sheeting that we need um, we'll turn this back this way okay so we'll let this guy uh, build us up some copper sheeting uh, I already have 14. I made a couple by hand earlier. And then for the rotors, we have six there. I think I'm just going to make make those because it's just going to be faster to make them. So let, let me get these knocked out. We're going to need 40 of these. Okay, we got our next um, hard drive thingy here. So we got another bolted plate again alternate iron wire so that just uses iron to make copper wire or well I guess it's iron wire but it looks like copper wire and then this is pure iron ingot so it uses only seven ore and four water Producing refinery. All right. Um, so, yeah, we would need a, a, a refinery, something that we will get later on. Um, I, I, I got to say, I'm not a fan of really any of these. This one is probably the most immediately useful to us. Um, but, I mean, you know, you're trading iron for copper. It does do 22 and a half per minute, though. Um... The thing that I don't like about this setup is if I press escape to try and go check something, I lose these recipes and I have to start over. Um, I wished there was a way that I could pull something up to look and see what the default recipe is. I mean, I guess I could use a website for that, but I mean within the game itself. But I gotta say, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of any of these really. This does 15 per minute. What does our other recipe do per minute? The one that uses copper. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, none of these are, are, are su super attractive to me, so we're going to start over. But yeah, we should be able to have a way to not have to start over so we can go check something inside the game. Um, oh, wait a second. There it goes. I was going to say, what happened? All right, let's just rescan that. Just out of curiosity, though. Hmm. Wow. That other one produced way more plates per minute than this one did, does. Yeah, see, it. Um, well, okay, hold on. No, it's, it's doing... Th three per 5.6 minutes so a little over 15 per minute that's still not as don't think that's still as good as the other one was though yeah i don't know i is but here it would have been useful for me to be able to check that without having to you know start all over again so anyway yeah that's the way it, way it is i guess the solution to that is to actually you know just bring up a website that has all that information and, and cross-reference it there um, but I think something like that should be available in the game, within the game. 
if you ask me. Okay, so I'm going to let this keep building up a little bit more. Let's pull those. Um, and we'll grab these rotors. Oh, we're going to need some frames too, so let's... Let's just grab, like, a stack of those. That should be enough for us to get started while we just kind of let the, the sheeting build up a bit. Because we're going to need that also for, for pipes, too. Alright, so let's go down here. And while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to... That's right on the seam. I'm going to put that there because we're going to need to tap into it. And we're going to set up a, a, a little four... Well, to start with, anyways, a four thingamadoodle coal plant. Four generators. But we'll be, like I said, we'll be able to expand it as needed. And then we're going to set up a truck station so that we can assign our tractor to just automatically go get the coal and bring it back here and load it up in the truck station. Um, it's it's going to be simpler to do it that way. Well, I don't know if it's simpler, but it's, it's going to be easier than me running a conveyor line from the coal deposits which are way the hell to the east all the way down over here for you know for for what's not really our main base when we do set up our main base and our main coal plant then we will run conveyor lines because that's going to be permanent all right so here's what we want to do we want to get started with some three meter foundations and we want to press control so we're on the grid um, yeah, that's probably good right there. And let's go to there and to there for now. Okay, so we're going to set up a platform out here. good okay probably didn't actually need to put that one down but whatever now I actually want to um, I think I want to bring this one out maybe to here whoops Alright, now what we're going to do is, starting here, let's start zooping out this way. We'll zoop this one too. Let's do that as well. I can't, unfortunately, I can't remove those trees. They don't chainsaw. So we're, we're stuck with them. Permanent fixture on the landscape. Now, let's go grab our truck station. And I'm not, I'm not actually going to put this down quite just yet. But I want to at least look at the size of it. Um, we're going to need a little bit of room behind for conveyors. So, yeah, probably... We'll hold it out to here. And let's actually put it down for a minute. Right, yeah, so with this thingy in the way, I think I think we're going to need to hold it out that far. And I might, um, I might actually bring it over this way one too. Okay, that's fine. We don't need that, that down right at the moment. I just wanted to, to look at it. 
Okay, so our first coal plant, then. Um, I think we'll start. So the truck station's gonna be here. So I think we'll start the first coal plant maybe on this tile. Or maybe we'll move it out one more just to give ourselves a little more room. All right, so let's grab um, uh, coal generator. We want those facing that direction. And we just want this lined up right on uh, with the wireframe right in the, the corner there, right here. Okay. Good. And that gives us a little bit of room in back too, which we're going to need. All right. Let's put four more of these down. Good deal. Okay. Um, now I'm probably, do I have enough stuff to make extractors? I have enough stuff to make one water extractor. Those we're going to start. I think we're going to line it up with this pipe here. So that pipe is centered on this seam. So this seam right here. And one thing we could do to kind of help with that is we could put down a, let's go to logistics. Let's just put down a pipe support here. for alignment purposes. Okay, now let's grab a uh, water extractor, turn it this way, and I think that's correct. Let's bring it in. To maybe about there. Yeah, that should be that should be lined up exactly the way that it needs to be. Logistics. Yep, that's straight. Okay, good. Now, <clears throat> it's it, uh, it is going to come up. <clears throat> excuse me, at an angle a little bit because we use the four meter. If we would have used the two meter foundations, that might be flat. Um, let's test that theory. Oops, I did it again. All right, so we want this to be the a two meter. Oh, you know, uh, oh. That almost looks too low. Yeah, that's going to be way too low. What if we do a one meter on top of this? That might be just what the doctor ordered. I don't have a... Uh, oh, you know what? I need. Let's set up um, our third toolbar with, with piping. So we'll make U1... U2, U3. Uh, we're not going to be using pumps anytime soon, so... Uh, yeah, okay, so we'll go with that. Alright, so let's do one into here. But I still question if that's actually level. I don't think it is. It looks like it just kind of curves a little bit here and goes down. Yeah, so if that's the case, there's no point in doing that. We might as well just have it go up at an angle. It's not that big of a deal. Um, and call it good. Especially since this isn't our permanent build anyway. Okay. So that was right on that seam. Whoops. Okay, 
Now, I'm, I need two more rotors to make this second one. Can we just um, go here? Make two more of these. Okay. And then with this guy, we just all we have to do is just hold control and it'll line up perfectly. Um, that might be an issue later. I mean, we can work around it if we have to. But, you know what we could do, actually? Now that I'm looking at this... Yeah, we don't, we don't need, we don't need to go that far over. Let's pick all of this stuff up. Yeah, we can come in closer. That way, that way we're not screwed up later on if and when we need to add more water pumps. That rock might cause problem, but we can work around that if we have to. Let's go back to water extractor, turn it this way, hold control to get you lined up. I want to bring you, I don't want to bring it that close. Okay, so it turns yellow. Let's bring it out. We'll try that. We can always adjust it again later if we need to. All right, so that gets our two thingamadoodles down. Um, next thing we want to do is we want to, well, how much copper sheeting do I have? Not a whole lot. Okay, let's go ahead and grab these. Uh, one thing that's kind of neat about this setup is that it uh, is that going to mess me up if I just go right into there? It will on the end cap unless we use this as an end cap, which we could do. Let's try this. I think I think this is different. You know where it it lines it up at up the level of that. I don't remember this being like this in update 5, but I could be mistaken. Um, yep. Yeah. Right there. And right there. Okay, so everything should be lined up there. Oh, yeah, I know what the problem's gonna be. It's, it's gonna be in the way of the lifts. Okay. Yeah, it will be. Okay, so what if we... You won't let me attach that to there, huh? Okay. Let's put this here. Okay. Now, let's do this. Well, let's put a lift down first. Bear lift mark one. So we, you know, kind of know what we're working with here. Okay, that's going to go up and... I think we're okay just leaving it up like that. This is going to be tight. Because what we're going to have to do to get these pipes to work now is... Hmm. I'm almost thinking I should move... That we need to move back this way. Yeah, I think we do. Okay, that's fine. Let's, um... Let's do that. Because otherwise we're going to have trouble. I do want you to... Want a little bit of room to walk around behind. So what if we put you there? It doesn't give us a lot. The other thing we could do, I suppose, is just 
flip through a little bit through that. That's not a big deal, I suppose. Okay, that gives us more room to work with. So now, um, let's move you to right about. Yeah, that's good. That's going to work better. Okay. Oops. There we go. Okay, we'll reset these. Now, this should... Oh! Nope. Yeah, that's no longer lined up. What did I... I think I held it too far back this way. I think we had it right on the edge there. Is that lined up? It is indeed. Okay, cool. take that back down for the moment. Now what we're going to do is uh, go with our lifts first. Put those there, that there, that there, that there. We're going to put splitters on all of these. Just because it's the easiest way to deal with lifts and gives you flexibility later on if you ever want to tap off of it. And we'll get those in place too, just so we know what we have to work with in terms of clearance. All right, now for the next part of this we're going to let's actually put let's get to our other toolbar let's put you there and now we'll get to the junction piece and we'll put it let's hold it out a little bit well yeah, let's hold it out to maybe right at the edge of that little, well, that edge of that where it was before. And then what we're going to do is we're going to grab one of you. We're going to line you up with this. And also with the input usually it shows you like a little green a small green line I don't think that's right one two, yeah that's two back actually that is right um, happy accident there a little Bob Ross action going on okay it's right because then we can just do a nice little 90 right into there. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is we want to grab junctions. And it looks like control will line those up for us. Nice. Oh, I'm missing copper sheets. Okay. All right. Well, let's go back up to the base then, and we should have a nice little batch of copper sheet 
uh, copper sheeting made up for us now and we'll pull that out and we'll put then we'll reconnect that back up to the rotor production yeah we got a full stack and then some You know, we could, um, could just leave that there. Uh, you know, kind of as a, a buffer. Let's get to this toolbar. supposed to be going into here okay that'll get the rotors going again for us let me actually make sure that it will <laughs> after what happened last time We're going to have to get through here with the tractor later, so let's do this. There we go. Now we can drive through there. Okay, it looks like you're back in business making rotors for us. Beautiful. Okay. Um, is there anything else I need while I'm up here? We've got... Uh, Cables, wires, we're kind of low on concrete. We have a little bit more of that. Oh, wow. Been using that, haven't we? There we go. Grab a couple stacks of that. Got rods, little, maybe just a little low on plates. It's also been in use maybe get a couple stacks more of the stacks of those how are we doing on screws yeah let's get a few more screws too so we're not screwed <laughs> see what i did there okay back at it cables copper wire yep once this is set up you know for those of you who don't know uh the nice thing about coal and really any other i think any other power scheme that you do is it's it'll it'll be permanent it'll be non-stop we don't have to refill you know biofuel or anything like that because the resources in this game are are uh, infinite okay so we needed to finish uh setting you up here uh except for go that direction right and you yeah, we're just going to leave that as a, as a curved pipe in. That's going to be fine. Now what we need to do is jump up here, grab this pipe, and hook these guys up. And I think we're good to go there. Okay. Now, we're going to run that into there. We're going to grab a junction and... If we if we put the junction right so it's kind of turn of the pipe is too sharp. No, it's not. I wanted to butt you know butt the plate of this right up against the nozzle there, but it's doing some weird shit. Oh, maybe it is because of the angle. All right. Well, I'm. I think if we put it there, we're not going to have a a perfect ninety. Uh, you know what? <laughs> That's pretty damn close, isn't it? It's not perfect, but it's super close. Uh The only way to fix that is to put a foundation down here. And use a ring. Uh, 
It's so close, and this is such a temporary thingy that I'm inclined. Oh, actually, you know what? I got another idea. I have another idea. Let's do this. I'm doing this more because I, for expansion later on than I am because I'm going to lose sleep over this almost 90 degree angle. Okay, so let's run a pipe into there. Okay, we'll grab this. And theoretically, this should come... Oh, can we... We do have the green line there. Can we... It's not, it's not snapping, though. So I think if we just bring this out to about there, which is, I think, where we put the other one, and then run the pipe... It's, if that's not a perfect, you know, 90, it's so close that I don't think it'll ever be noticed. But, again, the, the more important reason why I did this is because, you know, we'll probably have to add some of these uh, water pumps later, and then we can just keep expanding on down. So that that's really the main reason why I did it that way. Um, but this we shouldn't need here. However, now that I did that... We do need to... Oh. I guess that pipe stayed there. Okay, we're good. <clears throat> okay, so the final thing we need to do... Well, here, other than set up the truck station... Is we need to run power down to here. And so... We're going to grab this line that we put up here... And how far can we go this way? We can go to here. No clipping through trees or anything. Okay, good. Um, and then we're going to run a line to here. Now we need to do, we need to prime the pumps in particular. Uh, with our biofuel. Uh, if you were out in the field setting this up and you didn't, you weren't near, you know, your your bio plant, bi a biofuel plant, I should say, you'd have to bring, you know, set up a, a biofuel burner to prime the pumps. Um, So just FYI on that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to run a power connection to here. And let's also put one right there. Oh, I did that wrong. There. Uh, we must we must be down up there. We yeah we're we're out of power up there again. Otherwise those would have started, but that's okay. Um, once we get this set up, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We're going to be golden. Okay, now let's run this line all the way back to here. And connect that to there. This one... Probably about right. This one can go right about there. And this one can go right about there. One, two, three, four. Okay, they're all hooked up. So now this whole system is on the grid. Last thing we're going to do down here is get our truck station set up. Um, so let's go to transport and grab our truck station. Oh, we're missing 20 rotors. All right, let's go get 20 rotors. We should; Those should be made by now. The hell was that?
54 rotors. It's a beautiful thing. Uh -uh. <laughs> I'm glad we can change direction while we're flying through the air. Change trajectory. Uh, okay, so let's put this... I think that was, we said that was too far back. No, that's good. Nope, that's exactly where we want it. Okay. Good. And we have a spot to hook you up there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to run a line from this output into this input. This is the fuel input. So what that'll do is it'll take some of the coal <coughs> that we bring and it'll put it into, it'll just keep this little fuel spot filled up and every time the truck comes to drop off, it'll just top off its fuel. The other thing we need to do at this station is this is an unload station. So we have to change this to unload as opposed to load. And then of course on the other end where the coal is, uh, we'll change it to a load. All right, and then we just need to get our conveyor belt run here. So I think what we'll do <clears throat> Okay. If I put a no, not a splitter. A lift. Grab that lift. If I put the lift here just to get it up out of the way. I think if we want this to be the same level, which I do, we're going to have to raise this one up too. I don't know how high that is exactly. I'm going to guess that it's one two clicks up let's look at that and just see if that's the right height there no we're gonna do that differently one two clicks up with a splitter there we go that's what we want to do okay now Let's run out of here to this seam. Go back to raise this up. That's, I don't think that's level, which means that this, this is not going to, Hmm. That should, you'd think that would match though. All right, here, let's just finish running it in here. Maybe it is. Maybe it just, yeah, you know what? I think it is level. It's this power line here that's kind of throwing off my line of sight, making it appear that it's not level. So, yeah, that's good. Okay. So what this will, of course, do is this will output the coal that we bring in and feed it into the system here. So we just need to redo all of these guys now. All right. Uh, so I think this is completely set up and ready to go. One thing we can do here, even though I know we can jump over it just so things are cool, um, is we can... Do like a little walkway over this. Uh, except that it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass, isn't it? In terms of where it wants to snap. Really? Alright, well, I guess we have to do it this way. Seems like a Bit of a waste of resources, but whatever. 
get a catwalk there and one there. There we go. Now we can easily get up over the pipe. And we're done down here. Other than recording our route, which we'll do uh, at the very end. So when I get the bio generators back online, what's going to happen is it's going to prime these pumps here. And they'll fill... Uh, and it won't take them long at all, of course, because this is really small. And it'll fill all the pipes and fill all the... Uh, generators here and then they'll you know they'll be ready to go once they start getting coal all right so let's see here um are we down we're not down oh that's the problem. <laughs> now that I think about it, we shouldn't be down because I just filled those damn things. Okay, so yep, the pumps have started. And they're running. Uh, incidentally, each one of these pumps by default um, output 120 uh, water per minute. Each one of the power plants take in 50 water per minute. This is without, you know, any overclocking or, um, or anything. Oh. It's 45? I thought it was 50. Really? Oh, I guess it's 45. Current amount in building. 50, 45. Yeah, I guess it's, I guess it's 45 per minute. And this is the this is what it stores, but this is what it consumes. I think that's what that means. So it's actually 45 per minute. Okay, so that means then that all four of these require 180 water per minute. I could have just used one pump for these and overclocked it, but because you know we're building this to be able to expand it in the future as needed, um, I figured I'd just add the second pump. And if we wanted to, we could even underclock this one just you know to make it more efficient um but that becomes less important once you start getting into you know just unlimited power which is essentially what this is going to be that wouldn't be the case of course in the real world but this isn't the real world in case you guys didn't know that but if we wanted to we could underclock this to 60 per minute and that would give us our uh, our 180. So what the hell, let's do it. I just need to remember to adjust that when we expand in the future. All right, so, uh, yeah. So all four of these coal plants will take in a total, because we have four of them, a total of 180, because 45 times four is 180. So we are finished down here. Now we gotta go do things on the other end. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to do that in the next episode because uh, we are out of time, of course, in this one. So we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. Before I do let you go, though, let's take a quick look-see in here and see what we have. Alternate copper sheeting with water. Pure caterium ingots. Oh, by the way, I know where there is a pure caterium deposit not far from here. So we need to tap into that or alternate fused wire. I don't really like any of these. So we're going to re-roll it again. I have to get out of the mam and then back into it. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.